So I was making great time when I found out our homemade power hammer has a continual problem, which is so irritating. So this guy has a double, double cylinder. One cylinder, two cylinder, adding up all the material. We have an estimated 230 pound hanging weight. But for some weird reason, a lot of the loose energy gets thrown into this guy, which cracks the pipe. I went to fix it, and upon trying to pull this up, my pipe cracked. But I will show you, while we're at it, the camera's here, how to fix this. After I turned all the air off in the hammer, I'm gonna cut the hose. We have more of this hose, so it's sacrificial. You can always replace it. Now I need to carefully try to torque, pull this guy off. Good morning, Starshine. Hey, you me, Is it broke already? Yep. Crap. At least it broke before you got started, huh? I was in the middle, forging, oh. and it, it broke all the way, and it might And it tore. Now I have to get that out. Duff. And he has an idea. Too big. Not big enough. It works. We got some plumbing leaks we gotta do with today. Plumbing leaks are possible. Nothing impossible. Two things that need to take the gas off. Something like that or something like that. I spun out right there in the middle of the road. Just past the fire station. That was too low. Too big and tight. There it goes. Problem solved. <laughs> So if I put this in first, I have enough room. Yeah. I could do it either way. I could put the pipe on first, and then the elbow, or I could put everything on together. I'm gonna put everything on together because I want to make sure I have a nice tight fit to here. So I'm not over torquing this male part going into the cylinder. Back on. Yep, just hear exhaust. I'm 
something to keep in mind. If you make a tool, expect to maintain it. If you buy a tool, expect to maintain it. If you own a tool, expect to maintain it. So, back to work. Shoot.